Hey guys, Heidi Easley here at Texas Art and Soul, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties. And I had something totally planned I was going to do for this live, but I changed it about three minutes ago. So I really want to just say hi, and I'm going to paint with y'all. I'm going to show you um, a painting. I have not planned out this painting, so I just feel like I just need to create it while I'm on here with you. So let me know if that's okay with you, because I feel like I just need some, I just need to throw some paint on a canvas. Um, but I really, today, guys, I want to take a minute to talk about what we can do during this time, okay? So I'm going to talk to you about a couple of things while I'm painting, but I'm going to first start getting some paint on the canvas. So I just want to say thank you so much for joining me, and let's, Let's get started. I'm gonna kind of put this right here. Hopefully that won't fall. Let me put some weight back here. Sometimes those things when I have it too far out, okay? All right, so tell me where you're from. Say hi, let me know you're on here. And then I'm just gonna start creating. Like I said, I am, oh, and Pixie's working on a project. Can you see on the floor? She started like taping this down. She's making a hammock for a, um, hey guys, hey Missy, hey buddy. She's making a hammock for a um, guinea pig, not a guinea pig, a hedgehog that she made an entire slideshow trying to sell me on the idea of getting a hedgehog. I'm like, eh, no, I don't want no hedgehog. She said they don't stink. She did lots, she did lots of cute pictures. She did all kinds of junk. And now she's making a hammock for it in the studio. And I have to walk around the hammock making of the hedgehog. It's a little crazy up in this house. So anyway, I just wanted to take a minute to talk to y'all. And like I said, my first, um, what I was going to talk about has changed. So I just want to say, um, <laughs> I want to head talk to, yeah. So this Bob, Bobby wants a ferret. I'm like, we are not having a ferret. So then she did a whole slideshow on a ferret and why we should have a ferret. I'm like, girl, we're not getting a, a hedgehog and we're not getting a ferret. Like, I, I do not, because I'm the one here all the time. I'm going to have to take care of it. Okay, so what I was going to talk about ended up changing. Okay, so at first I was going to talk about um, something totally different. And now, um, I don't know, I just feel like I need to talk about this. So what you can do during this time. Um, number one, and I'll also be answering questions about the, um, oh, yay, Trisha, I'm glad you caught me live. I'll also be answering questions about the virtual paint party course. So if anybody has questions about that, I'll be answering those as well. And um, this first color I'm using is Seabreeze. And I'm just going to kind of go for it. I just want to, I feel like I want to kind of make a painted prayer. Um, kind of about hope right now. You know, hope is just a big word right now. Um, but the first thing I want to share with you is like, don't add to the panic, okay? Um, so I, I love Jennifer Allwood and I saw a post of hers where she talked about how like the flight attendants, like our kids are watching us, like kind of like we watch the flight attendants, you know, and she talked about how, um, how, you know, if the flight attendants panic, of course we start to panic, right? <laughs> like we're like, oh crap, you know, if the flight attendants are cool and calm, everybody's cool and calm too. So I want y'all to first off, you know, think about that, like don't add to the panic. And, um, you know, Pixie, our big thing for her was just like, you know, just don't eat all the food in one day. You know, like, you know, telling her, I mean, she's old enough to kind of start to understand, you know, what's going on in the world. But we're, we're all in this together. You know, nobody, you know, yesterday I did a time lapse. Nobody has been trained on how to deal with this. Nobody has been trained on how to speak about this. And we are all, you know, trying to learn as we go and um and trying to do the best we can so i think we have to really come from a place of of not being so judgmental of how people are reacting to this or not reacting to this because again nobody really there's not a handbook nobody's told people like this is what you should do when this happens like nobody knows so i think number one we need to to not add to the panic and um, i also highly recommend has been calling in. Um, I also highly recommend, he's probably asking if I want food and that's always a yes. <laughs> um, so hopefully he just orders me whatever. If not, I'm gonna not have some food. Um, but I think so many times like, um, you know, we want, of course we wanna be informed. Of course we wanna watch um, what's going on. I'm not saying you know, don't be informed, but I'm also saying, you know, as you are at home, 
Um, use this time to think about, like, to reevaluate, you know, what you want. Oh, thank you for sprinkling the love. Um, also, reevaluate. So, in my Paint Party Headquarters group, um, towards the beginning of the year, I challenged them to write a hundred things that they wanted out of life. It doesn't have to be something they're doing for the, for the whole year. It could be, let's say, for the next five years or the next ten years. Like, get crazy. Like, literally write down every single thing like you were wanting out of life. And what was funny, and I told them this would probably happen, I said, what's weird is once you get to about 30, you realize, like, really, I don't really, you know, have anything. I mean, like, you got to dig deep. Like, you got to dig really deep to know what you want. You know, a hundred things. I mean, then you're starting to think like, you know, all kind. you're just starting to let yourself dream. And so I really challenge you to instead of, instead of getting on the bandwagon of panic, to remember fear is not of God. Do people believe that here? Fear is not of God. Um, and I want y'all to hear that because, you know, you can sit and watch the news all day. And then it's going to make you just want to curl up in a ball and cry. Like, don't do that, okay? If you need to get informed, get informed, but then go do something productive. Like, really, like, do something that, you know, is going to, to get your mind off of it, whether it's a painted prayer or whatever it is. Um, let's see, we finally have something in common, and I realize it's Paint Party's life. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, definitely... Definitely like painting and stuff like that. So I want you to, to challenge yourself to not add to the panic, okay? Number two, I want you to think about how you can share joy during this time. Hey, Mia. Hey, guys. Hey, Tracy. Um, think about how you can share joy during this time. So right now, everybody that is on the news, on Facebook, wherever they're, they're located, I mean, everybody is is adding to the panic, whether they're posting a picture of, of certain things being gone at a grocery store, whether they're, you know, posting, you know, um, whatever it is, they're adding to it, right? Don't, don't be, oh, she cleaned her studio today, Susan. That's awesome. I know I started a little bit and then I'm going to try, I have some, um, I have some really cool, um, shelves coming in tomorrow. Maybe I'll show y'all once I get it kind of organized, remember a few weeks ago I showed you my disaster. <laughs> well, it's still a disaster. We're still we're still working on it, but I'm trying to get the shelves are going to be delivered tomorrow. Not shelves, they're like cabinets, and then I'm going to um, try to organize all this paint. So that's what I'm going to work on this week. And um, but so yeah, so number one, don't add to the panic. Number two, um, share joy. So how can you you know maybe you get on a Facebook live and if some of y'all how many of y'all out there are terrified of doing a Facebook live? Like, you're probably more terrified of doing a Facebook Live than you are of running out of food. And let's just be honest. Some of y'all out there, <laughs> probably, right? So you have to, like, you know, if you need to be informed, watch the news for a minute. But then get off of it. And then go create. Go make something. Go share joy. Go do a Facebook Live and show somebody how to do a technique. Because, again, a lot of y'all that watch me are painters, you're crafters, or you're teaching paint parties. And, you know, there's no, there's, there's no um, hiding the fact that, you know, paint parties right now, unfortunately, some of them are being canceled. Some that are under 10 are still happening, but some are being canceled. And, and we can sit here in fear and go, oh my gosh, the sky is falling. It's all over. Or we can go, wait a minute. I could actually do a Facebook Live and show this and do a virtual paint party. Oh, and guess who knows how to help you do that? Oh yeah, that girl Heidi. <laughs> so I actually, out of the need of the people in Paint Party Headquarters, I created a course. So you can click on the link and get the course if you want. Um, I created a course on how to do a virtual paint party because we can sit here, oh my gosh, Bunny did a live. Yes, I'm so happy, Bunny, good job. And um, we can sit here and be in fear. We can sit here and be terrified. We can, I mean, you get to choose how you want to spend your days. I don't choose to do that, you know? I'm, I'm not sitting here saying that, you know, it's all rainbows and unicorns and everything's perfect. I'm not saying that, but I'm also saying you need to, to also take time to go, okay, yes, it's okay to have a moment. And yes, it's okay to go, yeah, this is crazy. This is a little eerie. We've never dealt with this before. That is all okay to do. 
But then there's a, there's a part of you that's got to go, okay, we know the end of this. You know, especially y'all that read the Bible. You know, we know how this ends. We know how this ends. Um, but we have to remember there's something, something here. And, and God always works things for good. And we have to remember that. We have to have our faith in God. If we just sit there and we just let it devour us, we are going to, it's just going to consume us. And so I just, I mean, I'm telling you, I had a whole other thing I was going to talk about. And as I was writing it out, I was like, I can't, I can't, I have to talk about this. Um, and we have to talk about, you know, art heals. Um, I got a message the other day from a girl. It was a, a message and she said she actually showed my Facebook page to her therapist. And she said, her therapist said, yes, watch, you know, watch those paintings, do paintings because that's going to help you. You know, painting has been proven to help with, you know, all of those kind like depression and all of those kinds of things, whatever your deal is, whether it's gardening or pottery or painting, whatever it is, find that out. And then instead of just gluing yourself to the TV, because I know some of you are, I know it. And I, yesterday, me and my husband, we got coffee and I sat there for about 20 minutes and then I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like, yeah, that's happened. And yes, I'm gonna keep up to date, but I cannot sit there and just stare at the news and, and just doom and gloom all day. I'm not, I choose not to do that. I choose not to do that. So I really want, oh, I am on it. <laughs> <laughs> There's supposed to be a T there. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, but I choose, choose not to just be doom and gloom and it's all over and God is not in control. That is not truth. We know God is still in control. We know, we know how this story ends. And I just want to share with you right now that, um, that you have an opportunity to um, not add to the panic, but share joy to show so much joy to the world in a time where people are totally freaking out. Um, yeah, there should be a T there. That, that's right there. Yeah, I'm a really good speller. I'm glad there's spell check. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna add some stuff. Hey guys, um, let's see. And y'all go ahead and if you have any questions or wanna add to that, and um, my word is faith, Sandra says, and I'm moving on daily knowing he is in control. So painted a shelf and my husband has been wanting and he is so happy. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, Jackie, I'm, I'm definitely not the best speller. As you can see, I, yeah. And you know, when you have three brothers and a sister and we learn to heckle each other um, growing up, you know, you just kind of, I'm going to do my, I think I'm going to do my um, hibiscus. I love those. And you just kind of tend to laugh at yourself. That's the only way to, to survive a big family is um, laughter. So for those of y'all joining, I just want to say thank you for joining. Um, we are painting today. I'm doing kind of a painted prayer. Um, and I just want y'all to, to, to just give grace. As people are trying to learn how to deal with this, you know, like I said, nobody, nobody knows how to handle this. So I want us, you know, to remember art heals and what can you offer to help people during this time virtually? You know, what can you do? Can you get on a Facebook Live and paint for them? Can you, um, can you, you know, talk, maybe do a Bible study? You know, I saw so many stories yesterday of people who were um, worshiping at home and doing Bible studies at home. And how many times, you know, one of the ladies in Paint Party Headquarters, we had our, our prayer and gratitude meeting today, and she talked about how um, Steve, um, I know I'm going to say his last name wrong, but Furrick or something like that, I can't remember, he's a really popular um, preacher. Anyway, he talked about how, you know, they went online years ago, you know, and had been doing the podcast and all of that, and how... You know, they just did it and how a lot of churches were like, you know, no, you need to come to a service and how, you know, they, they said, no, we need to follow what we think we're supposed to do. And then how so many, you know, people were able to, yes, thank you, Angela, were able to, um, to join those services. Like, you know, especially like yesterday, you know, with so many people doing services at home and a lot of people 
you know, won't go to a church because of, you know, something that's happened in the past or, you know, something that's hurt them or whatever the case may be. And to be able to, you know, at this time still be able to communicate or to, to talk to people when we're placed in a position that we've never really been in. Like, we've never been in this position before. So I just want to encourage you, instead of panicking, you know, for you watching, you're probably a painter or a crafter. I want you to think about how can you bring some joy? How can you, instead of getting on a Facebook Live or posting a picture of an empty grocery store or whatever the case is, instead of adding to that craziness, instead of, I mean, we know it's out there. We know what's going on, right? It's blasted everywhere. Like, we know. But we have got to remember, like, what can we do to add joy? What can we do to give people a, a breather from it? Like, you know, your artists, your creatives, your problem solvers. You know, when I saw that, you know, a lot of my Paint Party headquarters members were like, oh my gosh, my, my event got canceled. You know, my first thing was like, okay, how can I solve this problem? Like immediately, like, what can I do to solve this? Um, oh, the hundred list. Okay, so I'm going to challenge you. Is your board right? <laughs> no. So I misspelled virtual. So the T, I moved it here. So I have a virtual paint party course if you want to if you want to buy it. It's $97. And so I misspelled virtual. And then I had to move my T from Texas. So it's not Texas. It's virtual. I just misspelled. Um, I'm not the best speller in the world. Just a heads up. That's why we have spell check, right? Um, but no, the thing I challenge everybody to do, and I challenge you to do, is take a piece of paper, and over the next few days, while you have this quiet time, right? Write down a hundred things you want. Write down a hundred things you want. And what you will find is that you probably can't even find a hundred things that you really want. It's weird. Like, we think we want everything. Like we think that, oh my gosh, we don't have enough, whatever it is, right? We think that, oh, we want this or we want that. When it comes down to it, usually people get to about 35 and then they're like, oh yeah, Susan says she only got to 30. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, I can't even get past 30. I went to 37. And what I want you to, the reason I want you to do that is for number one, I want you to see that what you want Almost all of it, we're, we want the same things. We want health. We want happiness. We want our family to be safe. I mean, really, right? When it comes down to it, we really want those basic things. And then whenever, you know, then what, what gets fun, and I have my list. I, I haven't shared my list. Some of the girls in Paint Party headquarters took pictures and shared them. But when you start to dream, and now is a perfect time to start going, oh good, super cute creations got to 100. And now's the perfect time. <laughs> Barbara, I gotta stop looking at the comments because you are cracking me up. This is not X's, this is Texas. I just misspelled virtual. <laughs> and now is the perfect time to start dreaming and start really prioritizing and thinking about what you want out of life. Because how many of y'all watch the show This Is Us? Does anybody in here watch the show This Is Us? Okay, so I love that show. I'm the only one in my house that watches it. My husband won't watch it because every time I'm watching it, I'm like full-on ugly Kardashian crying. And so I was watching it the other day, and I'm not going to, in case you haven't watched it, you might be binge watching it this week. I'm not going to tell you like why, but I'm just going to tell you what she said. So Mandy Moore, the um, star in the movie, or the show, she said, she said, I'm tired of what ifs. I am so tired of or saying um, someday, I'll do this someday. Um, and she started talking about how she was, um, you know, she always put everything off. I'll do that someday. I'll take that trip someday. I'll do, you know, do something I love someday. And she kept putting everything off. And I've talked to a lot of Paint Party Headquarters sisters and a lot of messages that have been sent to me. Um, recently, and the reason why I challenge you to write down a hundred things that you want out of life, 
you know, the basic things, right? But then dream, like really dream big. Like, do you want to go to Hawaii? Do you want to, you know, are you a person who likes to travel? Are you a person who, you know, maybe traveling's not your thing, but you want to read, you know, a hundred books a year. I don't know, whatever your dreams are. I want to challenge you to write them all down. Like all, like a hundred of them. And I would love, love for you to post if you could do a hundred of them. And um, and they don't have to be something that you do in the next year. Like this could be a list that you have for the next 10 years. But then I want you to really prioritize and think like, okay, what can I really make happen? You know, what can I really make happen over the next three years or whatever the case is? Because what happens is that life passes us by. And you know, Pixie being a freshman next year, and then of course, what all is happening now, it just really puts in perspective that we, we're not promised tomorrow. You know, and, and like I said, you know, I don't have fear of that because I put my faith in God. So I don't, I don't really have fear in that because I know, okay, it's, you know, yes, there's gonna be some scary times, the Bible never promises it's going to be easy, ever. It is never promised in the Bible that it's, it's going to be easy. But he does want good for us. And so I just challenge you to, to not add to the panic. I challenge you to find something that you can do to show, you know, show God's love through art right now. Like this is the time. People are at home watching. I mean, there's 253 of y'all on here right now. And um, people are, you know... Unfortunately, some people can't go to their jobs right now. So what can you do to not add to the panic, but maybe show something that you're really good at? And maybe you have been scared and you have been terrified of doing that Facebook Live. But what if, like what I always tell people, they're like, man, I wish I would have, you know, started that a year ago or whatever. I'm like, well, what are you doing this year? You know, who cares? You can still work towards it. You know, five years, five years from now, what are you going to be doing? You don't want that, that regret of why not? Why didn't I try that? And again, Facebook Lives have literally just started 2016, like just a few years ago. The opportunities online are endless. They're endless for you to be able to connect with people, for you to be able to sit here and talk to people and look at your sweet comments and and yes, every once in a while, you'll get somebody who's not very nice and talks about your lips, and that's okay. I know I got small lips, and I don't care. But you have to remember, like, what is your purpose? What is your reason? And if you know it's out there to help people and to share God's love through art, then who cares what people say? Who cares? I don't care if you talk about my lips. I could give a crap. Like, I do not care. I know what I look like. <laughs> And guess what? Sometimes when I'm stressed and I'm overwhelmed, half my face stops working. Yep, that happens too. And I don't care. <laughs> but it's not going to stop me from talking about God. It's not going to stop me from showing y'all opportunities like virtual paint parties. It is not going to stop me. And I just really want y'all to not live with regrets. So don't add to the panic. Okay? Find something that you'd love to do. And then share that, share that online and share that with people you love. And then also um, it'll help you with your connection too. So, you know, in a time right now where you may feel disconnected, you may feel like, oh my gosh, you know, especially if you, maybe you live alone. Um, there's so many times that you can like go on a live, like right now, you know, my family just got home. <laughs> You're a mess, girl. <laughs> I know, fam. <laughs> it is. Like, sometimes it happens. <laughs> you'll see, too, in some of my videos, if you start watching, you'll be like, oh, man, Heidi needs to calm down. Her face stopped working. It happens. It happens. We all have something, right? Um, but I just want you to, to think about that. Write down those 100 things. This might be a time for reflection for you. This might be a time that you want to course correct. You know, maybe you're like, ah, that's not really working. And um, times like this, you know, we can either live in fear about it or we can go, okay, God, yeah, this sucks. I'm not really loving this right now, but what can I do? What can I do right now to help somebody else? 
okay? And so I just wanted to take a minute to talk to y'all about that. I also wanted to, of course, show y'all that I do have the Virtual Paint Party course. And um, if you're interested in learning more about doing a paint party online, you're more than welcome to check that out. But more importantly, I just, I just want you to know that fear is not of God. Fear is not of God, and we have got to remember that. You know, we can get caught up in it. We're human. We're, we can get caught up in it just like anybody else. And I want y'all to remember that we have to be the examples. We have to show our kids that, you know, it's, it's going to be okay. You know, just like Jennifer Allwood said, she said, the flight attendant, you know, if the flight attendant's panicking, everybody's going to panic. And we have to remember not to panic and to remember it's in God's control. So, um, so I just wanted to kind of paint this with you. I'm going to add a couple more things on here and then I'm going to pick, um, let's see, 2.30 a.m. But I really love to watch you all. Thank you, Sonia. Oh yeah, you're in Germany, right? Um, okay, so I'm going to add a couple of more things on here. Um, I think I'm going to put a little bit of stenciling and then I'll announce some winners for Deco Art. Um, I'm going to be giving away some paint. And stencils, you can do any kind of stencils when you're adding. Hey, Pixie, did y'all get me some food? You did? Oh, good. Yay, they got me food. I told y'all when they called, I was like, ah, I hope they got me food. <laughs> um, yeah, thank y'all for hanging on and watching. And I, again, I just want to really just stress the fact that, you know, connection, connecting to people. Um, also, you know, I, there's a story. I can't share the full story because it's not my, my story to tell. Um, but somebody who lived alone, let me go to my gold. Let me bust out my gold. I love my gold paint. Um, somebody who lived alone shared this with me. And again, I'm not going to share her name and I'm not going to share all the details of the story, but she actually started doing Facebook lives because she, um, she was an empty nester, lived alone. And, um, and it really helped her just kind of to like have, feel like she had that community again. Um, and so I want to also challenge you with that as well. And um, sometimes it's not just about, you know, Yes, it's for helping other people, but also it can help you as well. So um, sometimes you want to think, think about that too. So if you're a person who's home alone a lot, you know, I'm home alone a lot because of, um, and I have a guard dog. So those of you all listening, going to try to find me, Blue will eat you up. <laughs> but, you know, I am home a lot because of, um, because of Bobby's job. Close your ears. I'm going to hit this on the floor. Okay, just a minute longer. Close your ears. Oh, yeah, you might need to close your ears. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I'm... Uh, I will get this. I can get this open. I know I can. Hold on. Maybe. I really need to do the saran wrap trick. Oh, oh Pixie's home. Maybe she can do it. can't do it. I'm weak. I'm weak in the, the paint. I get it all sealed and I don't. This gold, this gold's okay, but it's not my favorite. I like the 24 karat gold. Did you get it? Oh, thank you, Pixie. It was really easy. My 13 year old got it. So this is the one I love. Love, love, love this one. Oh, good. You've done the stencils, um, Christine, with the paint big snowman. Yeah, we're going to have a, um, another challenge soon. So be on the lookout. I have something cool coming. Okay. And that, again, that's a virtual paint party. So if you're like, what is it? You know, a virtual paint party. What is that? That like the paint big snowman, that was a virtual paint party. So I've been doing them for a long, long time. Um, and now I'm teaching y'all how to do it. So if you're interested, the link is in the description for the virtual paint party. Okay. So I just want to add some little stuff here. And this is just a paisley stencil. As you can see, it's been used and abused. And I just want to put like some simple stuff here and there. And um, let me see where I want to add it. Okay. And then what I like to do is just use a regular brush. And this is one of my favorite paints of all time. Deco Art Metallics. You can get it in a smaller one. 
<laughs> yeah, Connie, I think so. I loosened it for her. Thanks. Um, you can get it in a smaller one, but it's 24 karat gold. And it is my favorite, favorite. Yeah, Pixie is strong. That girl, she does gymnastics like four days a week. Um, she is like muscly. <laughs> the girl's like solid muscle. And she eats everything. Like I said, my, my big thing was Pixie, you can't eat everything in two days. You gotta like just not eat it all. I've been doing very well with that. Have you? I saw most of the yogurt's gone. <laughs> she had almost all the yogurt. I still have red spits, and that's really good one. You got four red spits, so you should have red spits left. Yeah, but I have all four boxes. If you don't have red spits left, something's wrong. Okay, so I'm just adding a few over there. And how many of y'all have used the 24 karat gold? I'll try to make that the ones that um the ones that they give away. Because um We'll give away to three people at the end of this. I'll just pick three names here in a minute. And then I'm gonna do um, a Bible verse on here. I'm kinda, I kinda wanna do, I love this song, um, Waymaker, beautiful, I can't sing, but you know which one I'm talking about. It's like, uh, I can't, I can't like, I'm not a good singer, so I don't wanna sing in front of y'all, but um, I love that those verses Waymaker, beautiful savior and that is who you are you know that song i kind of want to do that on here um but if you have a different verse um about hope or something like that that you think would go really well with what we talked about today i am open to suggestions because i might actually get that on my um i'll probably put it on my cutter instead of freehanding it Say what? What do pink and yellow make? Pink and yellow? Yeah. Mm, it depends on what pink and what yellow, but it would be kind of like a, a brighter. We can experiment. Like orange? Mm, no, not really orange. Okay, so see how the gold, like really, the metallic gold really shows up? This and remember, guys, painted prayers are just any kind of background stuff that you want. Kelly from Corsicana. You make me laugh. <laughs> Jerry, I'm glad I can make you laugh with all of my mistakes slash facial flaws. <laughs> all of those things. Yes, Jen, Waymaker. I love that song. I wish I could remember. Do you can you Google the first um things of Waymaker? Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Can you sing that louder, please? No. Did y'all hear Pixie? She's a really good singer. Oh, I love that. Sing it one more time. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You're welcome. Thank you. That was me singing. Just kidding. It was not me. <laughs> I can't sing like that. Pixie can sing. I cannot sing. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I think I might do that on here, Waymaker. I can't remember the words, but whatever she said. Oh, they like it. They're giving you lots of hearts, Pixie. Great. <laughs> She's a, in true teenage fashion. She's like, great. She <laughs> ran away. <laughs> okay, she said, oh, they're saying you sounded so good. Beautiful. See, I told you, you're such a good singer. And she wasn't even giving it all she got. So I think what I'll do is I'll make a stencil with that, all that on there, and then I'll add some more details. And then of course, what I'm gonna be adding is glitter. And the glitter glue will be the, my favorite kind. And I tell everyone to bring this to all of your paint parties. And now if you're doing virtual paint parties, I recommend that you get people to, um, to make sure they get this. And Benny says, Pixie is like my two youngest daughters combined. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Pixie is awesome. Okay, so just to recap, so I'm doing the background of the Waymaker, kind of the painted prayers. And um, again, I just wanted to um, take a minute to just say, um, I love you guys. I know that right now everybody's just kind of, you know, not really sure what to do. And I ask you to please just give people grace on how they're reacting. Um, just give people grace on, you know, how they're coming up online. If they're, you know, a lot of times we can be in the background 
and we can point, you know, shame at people for like, oh, they're not reacting or, oh my gosh, they, you know, um, there's just so many, um, so many things that we can do to add to the chaos and to the negativity. Um, and so I challenge you a couple of things. I challenge you to not add to the chaos. I also challenge you to write a hundred things, a hundred things that you want out of life. Now, I'm telling you, it's going to be hard. Um, because really, you get to about 30 and you're like, what else is there? You know, and then you really start to see that, you know, I can make my dreams happen. I can make these things happen. Um, and then also I want to just challenge you to, to share God's love through art, you know, with your talent right now. And um, you have such a big opportunity right now. Everybody's at home. Everybody's watching um, on Facebook Lives. You know, instead of them staring at the news, do something cool, like create something and have them be a part of it, you know, just like we're doing right now. And then, um, of course, you know, we're all here to make a living, right? If you want to learn from me and do the virtual course, you can click on the link and check it out. But more importantly, I just want y'all to know that you have got, you have got to not add to the madness. Um, you have got to um, find a way to take breaks from the news. And um, if not, you are going to go crazy. And then also um, writing down those 100 things. So I am still working on my list. I have not made it to 100. Um, oh, Susan already made it to 100. Um, make sure you are writing that down. You'll be surprised. You'll get to like 30 or 40 and you'll be like, oh my gosh, what else like can I want out of life? And then you get to start dreaming like big, like, Maybe I want to go to Hawaii. Maybe I want to do this. Or maybe I want to learn how to bake. You know, whatever it is. So I really want y'all to just um, take that time. Reflect on what you want out of life. And don't don't sit here and, um, and go, you know, one day. One day I'll do this. Or one day I'll do that. Like, make things happen. Because we're not promised tomorrow. And this should be a huge wake-up call for all of us. So that we, you know, can live more purposely, live more intentionally, and do the things we want to do um, without regret. Um, I want to be an old lady, 85 years old, whatever God allows me to live, and I want to be like dancing around and loving life and not going, man, I wish I would have done that, or what could have happened if I tried that? You know, instead of all of these things of like, oh, somebody's going to laugh at me or make fun of me or, you know, shoot me down. All of these things like, why not try it? Why not? Who, you know, who cares? Why not? So anyway, I just want to um, remind y'all, you know, have faith. Fear is a liar. And oh, and I got to pick three winners. That's why y'all are all staying on. I thought it was because of what I was saying. Y'all just want the free paint. I gotcha. Okay. All right. So I'm going to pick three people. All right. So we have Kim Green Story. She says, I've been working on my list, not halfway there yet, but loving it. Oh, it, it's fun, isn't it? It's fun to make a list and like dream and like think about what you want. So I want you, um, Kim Green Story, to message Texas Art and Soul, not me personally, Texas Art and Soul, and say that you won um, one of the Deco Art paints, and we will get that to you. And um, I also want to, let's have Naomi... Edinger Martin. Naomi Edinger Martin, if you will please message me. Um, and also, remember, it's an honor system, so don't be messaging if your name didn't get called. <laughs> and then also, let's have Laquila Santos. She says, Sinage sings Waymaker, version I love. Woohoo, free instead of fear. Yes, definitely. So, Laquila, you're the third winner. And um, again, I just want to say I love you guys. Um, remember, this too shall pass. Um, we're all in it together. Give people some, um, some hope. Get on a Facebook Live and paint with them. And if you need some help knowing how, feel free to grab the course. Um, I'd love to help show you. But again, if you don't want to do that, no hard feelings. Just get out there and don't, don't sit in misery. You got to do something. You got to get off the news and you got to remember God is in control and um, fear is a liar. All right, guys, y'all have a great night and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.